Our second question is fill the table number of apples that are given and cast of apples that are given. So number of apples let's take x and number of apples will be let's take y. So here we need to write if number of apples that is cast of apples will be increased. If number of apples will be increased cast of apples also will increase. That means x is directly proportional to y then if you want to remove this proportional symbol what you equal to k then what you will get is x by y will be equal to k. So here k is constant. This value will be constant. For 1 this is x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x4 y4 x5 y5 We need to find the cost of remaining all the values remaining for the number of given. So we know formula that is x by y will be equal to k that means x1 by y1 will be equal to x2 by y2 will be equal to x3 by y3 will be equal to k. We need to go like that etc. So for direct proportion. So actually this formula you can you want to find y2 right. So y2 will be you can write like y2 will be equal to x2 into y1 by x1 x2 into y1 by x1 so this direct proportion y number of apples will be increases like that so let's take y x1 will be what x2 will be 4 x x2 will be 4 then y1 will be what 8 by x1 will be 1 so 4 8s are 32 rupees so what will get 32 rupees this is 32 rupees 32 rupees. Next one. Let's take y3. y3 is also same as x3 into for this y1 by x1. So whatever if it is direct proportion here 3 means here also will get 3. For the remaining things we need to write in the opposite manner. So let's take here x3 will be what? 7 into 8 by 1. So 56. So we'll get 56 rupees. That is here 56 rupees. Next one, we have to find this one as so x4, y4 we have to find x4 into y1 by x1. So which values are the reference? That one only we are taking. Otherwise, you can take here y2 by x2, y3 by x3, y5 by x5, like that. Whatever it is, you can take like that. So 12 by 12 into 8 by 1. So 12 8s are 96. So 96. So let's take 96 that one. Let's find y5. y5 will be equal to x5 into y1 by x1. So 20 into 8 by 1. So 20 into 8 will be what? 160 rupees. So 160 rupees we will get based on direct proportions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this module, we are going to discuss that is third question. 48 bags of paddy cost, paddy cost around 16,800 rupees. Then find the cost of 36 bags. So whatever they are given number, first let's trade. So here, what is the quantities they are given? Paddy cost. So number of bags they are given. Number of bags of paddy they are given then cast they are given cast of paddy they are given so if they are given two quantities let's take let's take x and y as it is let's take x and y then what we have to find here is so x and y we took so number of bags of paddy cast 48 for that what is that 16800 rupees so next one what they are given is here 36 bags what is the cast that one we have to find by using inverse and direct proportions we can make some formulas after that we can move on to problem so let's take if x is increases then y also increases that is number of bags of paddy will increase then y also cost will also increase that means x is directly proportional to y that means in order to remove this proportional symbol we have to keep one equation that is equal to k this is equal to proportional symbol then shift this y to the right side left side x by y will be equal to k here constant 
k is k is constant it will not change for any values of x and y that is the meaning of this so x by y that means here let's take x1 y1 x2 y2 that means x1 by y1 what is the constant x2 by y2 also it will be x3 by y3 also it will be constant it will not change so let's take formula of that what is that here is x1 by y1 will be equal to x2 by y2 so we have to find y2 here that implies x1 y2 will be equal to x2 y1 that implies y2 will be equal to x2 y1 by x1 so let's take y2 will be what is that y2 will be equal to cast of 36 bytes so x2 is what here 36 into y1 is what there 16800 rupees by x1 is what 48 rupees so what you can make it to calculate this is 66 six, uh, Six eights are then two threes are two fours are then what you can make it here is four ones are four fours are sixteen then four twos are eight then two zeros that means three into four thousand two hundred so it will make three zeros a zero three zeros a three twos are six three fours are twelve that is twelve thousand six hundred rupees is the cast of thirty six bags of paddy that is the thing thanks for watching please subscribe hello yes thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so here in this module we are going to discuss fourth question monthly average expenditure of a family with four members with four members is 2800 rupees find the monthly average expenditure of a family with only three members so by using direct and inverse proportions we can find the solution for this how is so let's take two quantities here average expenditure they are given and number of people that are given in the family so let's take average expenditure average expenditure of the family let's take that is average expenditure by the number of people number of members you can take so let's take average expenditure is x the number of people will be y that means here let's take what is the given values we have to write so number of people for four what is the average expenditure 2800 rupees like that then next what they are given three members we have to find this so actually let's take this is y1 this is x1 this is y2 this is x2 we have to find the value of x2 so let's take what is that is if average expenditure let's take y will be increases number of people will be increased then expenditure also increases that means y is directly proportional to x so remove this proportional symbol y is equals to kx then what you'll get here y by x will be equal to constant like that so number of people increases then expenditure also increases that means here k is constant y1 by x1 will be equal to y2 by x2 will be equal to y3 by x3 that etc we will get more values k will be same so find the value so we have to find x2 so y1 by x1 will be equal to y2 by x2 that means x2 y1 will be equal to y2 y2 x1 so x2 will be equal to y2 x1 by y1 so substitute the values here so let's substitute the values x2 will be equal to y2 value is what 3 into x1 value is what 2800 by y1 is 4 so 4 ones are 4 7s are 4 7s are 28 2 zeros like that only 3 into 700 so 3 zeros are 0 3 zeros are 3 2 are 3 7s are 21 so 2100 rupees is the expenditure of 3 persons thanks for watching please subscribe